So Mick, tell me about how this uh, current tour has been going. Um, like most things with Sonic Pulse, uh, better than expected. We all had our uh, up here in Nervous. This is kind of like a first time with the lineup as is, so... Um, we were all equally as much excited as we were, you know, uh, nervous about it, but it's been awesome so far. We're only, we're like two and a half days in basically, but it's been a total blast. Uh, the crowd's been awesome. Everybody we've been working with on the tour so far has been a great help. Uh, it's just been a lot of fun. It's awesome. How long have you been working with this current exact lineup of August, since August 20, or I mean August 15th? Actually, we were kind of laughing about it because I'm pretty sure this day, exactly a year ago, was Sam, our bass player's, our, well, our current bass player's first gig. And we kind of like kicked out the old bass player in a last minute decision to basically be like, you don't have your shit together, he does. So, we're giving him a chance. So, this is, uh, yeah, pretty cool for us. We're basically right a year on the spot of the band as is. We all moved in together August last year and started rewriting material and working together to like bring the band out to everybody as it is today. Now, um, I remember that EP, um, what was it called? Uh, Adventure Time, or no. <laughs> Forgetting it. Um, I can't remember the name of my own EP. That's great. Adventure Metal. There we go. I knew his adventure was in there. Yeah. I wanted to say Adventure Time, but I was fucking up. Um, but yeah, so we did that uh, December-ish last year. I think it was right around Christmas time. Um, and that was basically like the quickest rework we could do in the material with the new lineup because we wanted to kind of like let everybody know quickly that despite um, in like one year we lost a guitar player, bass player, a studio drummer, vocalist. And then, like, a few months before that, we had gone through another bass player, so we were just, like, one guy in and out all over the place, so um, we wanted to give everybody something that really said, you know, like, this is the lineup that's here to stay, and, you know, this is what we're going to sound like, and this is what we're going to continue to do. How far down the coast of the east are you pl guys planning on touring? So this one we're going as far down as North Carolina currently. We've got two dates down there, we the 19 and the 20. <laughs> now tell me all these shows until you get down to North Carolina. Um, so tomorrow night we're going to be in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, that's going to be an awesome show. Uh, our buddies Cronivore helped us out with that. And Epicenter is another band from kind of they're buddies of ours. They've been kind of helping us out when we first kind of had our foot stuck in the mud with the lineup changes. So um, we're looking forward to that one a lot. Um, then we have a day off and we're going to be over in Philly. And the day after that's going to be North Carolina. And from there on up, it's kind of like back up through the Midwest, Canada. And, and uh, what area of Massachusetts are you sorry from? So we're, we're technically out from Boston, we're from Framingham, which is like smack dab in the middle of Worcester and Boston. Two pretty big uh, centers for music in Massachusetts. Okay, and from those two areas, I guess this is a question for uh, bands looking to come through that area or anybody who's just moving to that area and wants to spectate. What are some bands from those two areas that you like to hook up with? Um, well, Epicenter was another one that I just mentioned. Those guys are awesome. We play with them a good amount. Um, our buddies in Semi and uh, with last night too. Uh, we got the Nephilim, Carnivore, our other buddies of ours. Um, they're more along the death metal range of things, but still good to use to party with and excellent, excellent live performances from all those guys. So, as a guitarist, uh, are you more influenced by blues, classical, or jazz? A kind of a little bit of none and all of them at the same time, if that makes any sense. I have a view of that, like, metal to me is basically a very angsty, angry approach to every other emotion you can have. It's kind of that taken from one end to the other and back again. So, I have a very, I guess it, it depends upon the mood I'm going for, essentially, at the moment. If I want to kind of go far out and spacey and proggy, you know, I go to my jazz roots and, you know, look to those kind of, like, chords and harmonies for music, but if we want something very, you know, power metal-esque or something like that, then, you know, classical is kind of where you draw that influence from. And then more of the thrashy and straight up, like, almost rock and roll elements is, that's all evolved from blues, so. And uh, this is my last question. What is your Desert Island album? Like, you're trapped on a desert island and all you get is a Walkman and one CD. What Which CD? one is it? 
Hands down, Megadeth's rest in peace. Nice. Gotta listen to that thing at least like once a day. I still have the same tablet that I bought like almost 10 years ago. It's basically the Bible as far as heavy metal guitar playing goes. <laughs> and I guess, um, when do you figure out you're gonna actually go out west of Chicago? Um, hopefully, we wanted to do that this time around, but things didn't end up working out. Our hope is that as we, we're gonna be releasing a new single, hopefully while we're on the road, we're actually waiting to get that mastered. Um, and so, probably next month, is going to be when we're doing a full length album, so we hope to do make it back through this circuit of touring and kind of just work our way and expand further and further by each loop essentially. Let's go back to New York. So, hopefully, next year we'll be we'll making it out there the once, album. twice, as many times as we can. Homeland. You think maybe um, some East Coast or maybe uh, Midwest friends might join you on this, or hopefully, are you kind of still working that out? Um, speaking of other local bands, actually, My Missing Half are good buddies of ours, and we've kind of been talking about buddying up um, and kind of doing a thing, so that might happen. Um, there's a few other buddies of ours, too, that are, I know are working on albums right now, so who knows? We might be able to get like a good, thrashy, death metal, melodic, you know, as long as there's plenty of guitar playing and noodles, basically, we're down to jam with everybody. So. And, uh, like, in the next, or for the rest of the year, are you guys going to be featured in any magazines or scenes or radio shows that you want to plug right now? Um... I think the even one I can think of off the top of my head is uh, Grand Coast Music, I think it is. Um, but there's a local radio show near us that uh, plays a lot of local metal bands. And some of those guys actually put together a, a compilation called 27 Tons of Metal. And that's a whole bunch of New England bands. So actually, that's an awesome one to check out um, if you want a taste of New England metal as a whole. Would you like to go back to any questions? Um, no, that, no. Final words. Final words. Uh, stay metal, have fun, party, and never give up on your dreams. Awesome.